Oh my freaking goodness. Okay. Uh, what a way to start. Uh, okay. Polly Brim. I'm into it. We are playing Tainted Azazel today. Sneezing on fools with a chaos card. Let's go defeat Hush or something. We gotta go... We gotta go up. We gotta go to the chest. And that's gonna be the last thing for this character for our dead god progression. Starting with 22 base damage brimstone is going to be pretty major for us. I am into it, dude. Let's get it started. Now, the poly's kind of interesting because you can't really sneeze as fast as you usually can. Azazel is not as sick as he usually is. I'm, like, spamming the keys, but only now that I just sneeze. So our sneeze... Oh, okay! Our sneeze APM is lower than usual. However, the damage overall is absurdly good. We got every coin possible from that solo keeper, including a major golden penny. Uh, let's see what's going on in the shop because of that. Hello? A bomb? We did want a bomb. Box of Friends does work. When you have enough familiars, it gives you Demon Baby by default, but I don't need it. Restock this early on is incredible. Anything else juicy? I guess I could also take that extra bomb. Yeah, uh, I've already put so many coins into here. And there's options is really good as well. If we can get four more cents, I will be going for that extra bomb. Maybe we can land the key plus the red chest. But for now, that was just an absurd start in general. I'm happy with where we are. Dude, look at this. You ready? You ready? You ready? Wabuamo! Say goodbye to the train of flies. It sure is dark on this floor, huh? Okay, well, that's fine. Doesn't matter how dark it is. When you got brimstone, you're gonna light up the room, especially with Polly. Let's get these two guys together and explode them. With no issues whatsoever. Obviously, I want eye drops here, and I did get an extra bomb, so let's go for that red chest key and then head to the next floor. Nice, and- oh wow, okay. Well, this is nice in a sense. I don't really want to take it, but you gave me a free soul heart? Okay. Okay, moving on to the next floor. I'm pretty sure even though we TP to that first devil deal, as long as we don't take this next one that is naturally spawning, we can still get 100% angel chance. Since angels would just give us a better chance overall for success, we obviously don't need a major power buff immediately because of the immediate power buff we've already gotten through Polly. What's going on in here? Worm friend? This is a solid item. I actually really like this thing. The best thing about having Polly as Tainted Azazel this early on too, is that whenever you're killing an enemy, uh, when you have like base damage as this character, it does that annoying tick thing that just kind of annoys me and pisses me off. Uh, irrationally, it's not that bad, don't get me wrong. But it sets a certain tone. It, it messes with my brain, my neurons, where the brimstone ticks instead of being like fully red. But when you got Polly, all the damage in the world you can see right here, it's just full red mode, no holding back, full gas, and it feels great to use. Cursed room and just a couple soul hearts. This is really good. We are actually chilling when it comes to hearts. If we can't go fast, I'm not kidding about the, the chaos card thing either. Like, I think it would be incredible for us. Is there a bomb in here? Nice. Uh, for us to just go beat Hush and just press Q, like, that would be sick nasty with it. It's more just, can I go that fast to make it work? Okay, so do we one-shot the haunt here? Oh, dude. <laughs> A little bit high in the damage factor. Because of that, do I want to go tears up here? Part of me does, but the damage scales better with Polly. I this is an actually really hard decision. I'm gonna go damage plus five. You know, like holy man, I can't deny that. Time for Dross Dose gameplay. We got a bunch of blurbs here. I don't know why I think that's their name. I don't think it's actually their name, but part of me, I, I think I'm onto something here. They would be called blurbs. That's a vibe check for Edmund McMillan moment. Once you've played enough Edmund McMillan games, you can kind of just tell the name and convention. A couple of boom flies are no problem for Tainted Azazel with my stature, my damage. Ouchie mama. Ooh, a per throw. We're gonna have to use it on this floor if you want to take the Chaos card with us. What's in here? Apple. I don't want to use it on Apple. Glowing Hourglass too? Incredible items. Nothing to fear. Uh, I was wrong, by the way. Checking out that first devil deal by complete forcibly nature by the red chest does mean that we don't have a guaranteed angel. So, I uh, I probably should have checked out that second devil room. Well, no problemo. If I don't have anything to reroll on this floor, I could at least reroll the knife piece guaranteed. Can I get a shot off here? Oh my god, I blasted through whatever boss armor you were even rocking. I don't know why he froze in place there. <laughs> Uh, Roid Rage is the obvious answer here. Like, that was that was kind of brutal by me, you know? I hit him so goddamn hard that he just stood there and died. Like, I don't have Broken Modem. I don't have a stopwatch. There's no reason that should have happened. I kind of just mind-cracked him. It's definitely looking like a per-throw-the-treasure-room angle. 
Unless my boss room has absolutely dog water items, but I don't see that happening because we have there's options. Can we do it again? No way. Okay, so sneeze, boom. Oh, it's the worm friend holding him down, clutching it out. That's kind of uh, brutal to see, not gonna lie. I literally held him for his death. Shoutouts to Wormfriend for being unbelievably goaded. Roll into Glitter Bombs. It's decent. The bombs are necessary for me. I actually have like basically none this entire run. And then I'm just gonna clear out the rest of this uh, mirror dimension. It's really not gonna be too hard whatsoever. Shop. Ooh, Mom's Key? Mom's Key is better than Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack's incredibly good. Whoa. But it requires me to get hit. It's good for rigging. I'm gonna blow this up. Let's see how much uh, money I get. Ouch. Not too incredible. Let's look for the secret room. Maybe that pays out enough money. Even if I get enough money for Fanny Pack. I'm probably still gonna end up taking the Terra Cloth instead. Fanny Pack. Oh! Fanny Pack is a low priority in comparison. That was a lucky as hell dime. A lucky as hell super secret room. Watch me telepills and go to the next floor and miss out on everything. That'd be hilarious. Amnesia doesn't matter to me. Speed down doesn't matter to me. It's good to get those pills out of the way right now. So we're just aware of what they are. We're not going to do them in a more uh, terrible situation, you know? Okay, caves two, starting with the dice room and a thing I don't want to touch. It's <laughs> just... You think I'm insane enough to touch that D4? You got another thing coming. Doctor's remote. Let's get this uh, blood bank going. Just get a bit more. Oh, oh, oh HP. And money. Oh, what? <laughs> that has never before in like 3,000 hours of Isaac happened to me. That is a first. Like a three play blood bank into a blood bag into a one play blood bag what's the next item here just game kid probably won't be playing that again that is insane my speed is hella fast now i you know if that were to have happened i would have presumed maybe like oh i v bag you know would show up the the second time because i'm sure something like that has happened to me before but a double blood bag that fast that is unnatural that is powerful <sighs> Might as well fight the boss right away. Big horn. I feel like I'm gonna one-shot you too. Basically. I feel like he left just a tad bit early, but that's all we need. Mr. Belly is what we'll be taking here. We need even more tears up. It's necessary. And the angel oh! gives us the wafer. Love to see it. Do we need Mega Satan? No, but I'll fight one of these angels at least. Just one. Just so we can get a key piece going. Higher angel chance overall is sick nasty, but we have not been to the shop or treasure room just yet, so we're not done here. No way is this the secret room. Okay, I mean, it could have been. Another treasure room, slipped rib, it's a bit of a basic item to be fair. But an orbital is always appreciated, and I like slipped rib. It does more than just block shots, it reflects them as well. And I feel like the hitbox for it is pretty wide, it's like similar to Sag Dagger, so I I'm with it, nice. You know, I tried booting up TF2 recently, because I was like, man, I have not played TF2 in a while. Hello, Angel Room again. And uh, I was like, okay, I'll queue for every single game mode, which by, uh, is probably my fault, my definition. But still, you know, I queued up every single game mode. I got put in 2-4, and then my first experience was uh, more sniper bots, and it kind of sucked, to be honest with you. So I was doing some research, like, hey, what's going on? Is this ever going to be fixed, or is it just, like, doomed forever? Well, some people just never know the glory that was TF2 in its absolute, like, major days with like German versus Star and the classics. And uh, I, I guess uh, apparently it is or has been ported to 64 bit for just better processing overall. But in general, yeah, it's not going to Source 2. I, I looked up on, uh, who's that guy? Tyler McVicker, the guy who does all the research on every single Valve game ever. <laughs> also researches every Valve game that has never come out or will come out or might come out ever. Apparently there is a new Valve game coming out. I'm certain they're working on games to be honest with you. Just not specifically. TF2, but I know they're making games. I think the code name for it is like Neon Prime or something. It's gonna be like uh, some kind of futuristic MOBA with abilities and shooting like CSGO. Maybe kind of like Overwatch or something. I'm not too sure about it, but whatever they're working on, Valve does make peak, so I'm excited for that. I'm also waiting for HL3. Now, starting off this next floor, I'm gonna blow up a dude and murderize him for my better deal chance. Walk in the curse room, get a Sanguine Bond. We do have deals available, Devil Deals specifically, so Sanguine Bond is pretty good for us. We also have Wafer, so we can abuse it heavily, actually. Sanguine Bond can sometimes just pay out with a black card, you can just do it basically near infinitely. So that's exciting. If we find a Sack Room as well, I'll be sure to participate in that. That is the Mongo Pill. The Mega one makes you larger. It counts as two. So we do get to have 
have Stompy with us. And I'm just gonna go fight the boss right away. It's only depth one. I'm not gonna be locked out. I should be able to one or two shot this guy. There you go. And no deal. Again, we do want even more potential tears up. When you have Polly, the tears up is so minimal. Like 0.11. You really think that's gonna do a lot for you? But yeah, it's better than just average HP up. You know, whatever the hell. I gotta do three floors within 10 minutes with my build. Absolutely possible. Slightly dependent on the mapping and how lucky I get, but uh, definitely feasible. And if we're able to do that, I can Chaos Card Hush, which I have not done in a while, so I'm looking forward to doing it. Dude, that sneeze did that much? Hello? I did not realize how much my sneezes were doing. I sneezed an actual hurricane onto Monstro, Jesus. Another shop with a ton of money. This time it's Notch Axe. We can actually use this. You know, when we're on the womb or something, we can just mine our way. Mining away. I don't know what to say. And get through the entire womb really easily. Uh, rocket in jars, whatever. And we can speedrun our way through the womb to get to Hush easier. Assuming that's what we want to do. With the Chaos card, that is my top priority. So at this point, I'm thinking I go full on speedrun mode. Alright, got it. What the hell? 1% <laughs> planetarium? Hey, don't mind if I do. Jesus, Terra, okay. Gotta act fast or your money back. What do we got? It is a dead end, but that's still fine. At least I get the closure of knowing what was in my shop. Let's just blow them up because why not? And then I, I can't help it. I'm really curious. Like what, what are in these chests? I just gotta know. Oh, how did I know that there's an item in there? That point 10 tears up could be the difference maker. Probably not, but it, it could be. <laughs> Dice Room Gaming. Ooh, that's pretty good as well. Dude, there's a lot to happen on this floor. Do that, I don't have the time for it. But all of my special rooms are relatively close together, so I'll probably just use that four dice to roll whatever's in here if it's bad. D1 is really good. <laughs> We're taking it. And then we'll just hit the reroll anyway to get rid of the notched axe. Well, blammo. Anything? Milk? Eh, it's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Goodbye, mom. Uh, doesn't really matter where we go. I'm thinking down for the damage, the devil into Judas, and then we just go straight down two minutes per floor now. Let's say, oh, you know what? This works out perfectly. Never mind, we're fine. Loom XL, it's not often we get this and it's actually in our favor, but I am down today. Let's get this party started. Where is that boss? Now we all know how Womb XL works. It's either directly right next to the starting room because that's just how it works for some reason. Or you're gonna hit like seven dead ends. It looks like we're doing the seven dead ends reboot. <laughs> Where is that friggin' boss? Okay, what about right from the starting room and then straight down? I have a feeling I might be cooking. Wait a second, right here is the boss. No. You know, a bit of an anti-synergy I've noticed with this poly tainted Azazel gameplay is that you really want the sneeze to not kill the enemy because you want to you spread uh, the sickness among your enemies. You know, you want to infect them with the brimstone curse and then hit them with the brim so they explode. But when you do so much damage off your initial sneeze, you just burst them with damage. They, they insta-die. It's actually hard to spread the curse. Like even a champion right there. Basically relegated only to bosses or double phased enemies so far, but that's fine. As we move along, these enemies will have more and more HP, so the curse will be easier to spread. I'm having a feeling that this is one of the moments where this is not the boss either. Jesus Christ, how does he do it? At least we get a fat trinket hit curved horn, thank you. I don't even think it's worth it to go in this left room, because I guarantee you, based on Womb XL, it's probably not here, but I'm gonna do it just to entertain the idea. <laughs> just because I'm curious. Oh, alright, there you go. Wasn't that far off. I wonder, if I had gone up here, would this have connected to the starting room? Oh my god, no way. Genuinely? I'm telling you, look at this, it's so close! Why is every Womb XL specifically like this? It's only like six rooms away! <laughs> it must have been specifically made like that on purpose, I'm certain. Matriarch, easy fight, also an easy fight for us to spread the curse. Very nice, I'll take the damage here. And we are taking a lot of damage, but that's just because this is no problem. I've never seen this glitch before in my life, what the hell? That was a first? Did I perfectly hit? It lives on the exact same frame that the eyes spawn, therefore moving her and the eyes on the left and right spawn upwards? That's actually a first for me. That is weird. <laughs> that is a weird one. A bit of an anomaly. Take the headless baby for the conjoined and let's go one shot hush. Okay, what are we doing here? What are we working with? Mucor mycosis is humongous. We do have Stompy which lands us crawl space. Crawl space, no plaque, mark it, but a magic fingers. It's fine. We don't need it though. 
Might as well D1 one of these chests, just get all the pickups that we can. Mom's keys popping off. Consolation prize gives us a fire rate up. Nice. And the other treasure room. Oh my god. That is what you like to see, dude. Plus and options with three luck will go crazy on the dark room. Wait a second. We gotta go up. This will go crazy on the chests. <laughs> Listen, okay, I have to- I'll, I'll, I'll be real with you guys, okay? I'll, I'm not gonna baloney you. Before I fought mom, I had to take a quick food break, okay? We watched The Sopranos, that's a really good show. I highly recommend. We watched it for a bit, I came back to the run, I started defeating mom, and I forgot where I wanted to go, okay? I, I absolutely forgot, and I'll own up to it, but there's no way I'm giving up this god run with 2020 polyphemus. Go ahead and die real quick. <laughs> I just- uh, uh, just, just go up. Smooth this dead god right here, baby. <laughs> Let's freaking get it, gamers. <laughs> now we do have B1, and I am more locked in now that I realize I made that mistake, and I should not be making that mistake moving forward. So let's make sure every opportunity that we have, we can use the D1 among any chests that we come across. Maxima maximizing our potential for different items, and just making sure overall that we get the most overpowered that we could possibly be, because that is the end goal overall. Beating the game as stated the Zazel, <laughs> everyone can do that. It's literally a brimstone. Damn near one of the easiest characters in the game. I, you know, I should make a tier list for some of the easiest characters in the game, actually. That sounds like a cool video to do, like, uh... Just randomly, just pop it off, I think. Pretty sure this is the way the boss, you know, when it comes to guessing where the cathedral boss is, I can always tell where Isaac is. I don't know if that's a vibe check or not, but I, I just can understand where the dude is at all times. Also helping absolutely immaculately that we have the wafer, so no matter how many hits we take, it's not gonna be enough to end the run. The luck up plus options question mark will go crazy here. Let's freaking do it. All right, double roll time, bablamo, bablamo. We gotta save at least one chest so that- Oh my god, I'll take you. So that we can extra- Oh! D1 hits! <laughs> Open this as well. Yum heart, gim person. We don't need the gimpy. Uh, I was gonna save a chest, but now I just wanna reroll like crazy, because it's probably better overall. Stuff here, mini mush, that's good. You know, reduce my size a little bit. Our size is actually gonna be the exact same size as base Isaac, but minus one. The one makes you larger do not actually increase your hitbox size, so I could get really close to this dude and you can see I'm not gonna get hit whatsoever. Keep that in mind whenever you take uh, one makes you larger stuff, so like magic mushroom or something. Another chest, mom's pad, not exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe we can find something a little bit better than that. More, so, dude, infinite, infinite amount of chests. God, I think options is like the best options now. <laughs> I realize it's kind of a stupid sentence with how many option items there are in, in the game, but you know what I'm saying, options question mark is, oh, what's up, Dumpy? I think my favorite, like genuinely, that, there has been so many times where this thing has popped off end game. I can't deny it any longer. More options used to be my favorite, but now with second thought, this has got to be number one for me. There's just no denying it anymore. Look at the brimstone curse absolutely spreading like crazy. Like we said would happen on the wound. I am thoroughly satisfied with the run. Bablamo, ah, it's fine. Those are good in general. That is conjoined, I guess. I could have had conjoined earlier if I had taken another baby, that little Loki. But they're just so like, whatever, you know? I was like, do I really want to take it? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe I can get a little bit more. Can you tell I just watched The Sopranos? <laughs> Listen, I'm more gamer than YouTuber, okay? Let's be real here. <laughs> another chest, chemical peel. Love to see it. Two more rooms to do for another roll here even more okay well with that a natural spawn like extra baby that we can have then i will be taking the extra extra baby for conjoined just because i feel like i wasn't wasting a pedestal for it so take you complete our conjoined oh! yeah that's good sticky bombs we got a soul heart down there so i'm not even worried about anything to do with health anymore the wafer is carrying me plus three soul hearts also applies to this logic is this the way to my boss? That's surprising. I thought it would have been the other way. God damn, that was satisfying. Blue baby's only friend. Okay, so where would this ultra secret be? This one seems kind of rough to guess if I'm being real. I actually kind of have a no idea moment here. We're not going to get a final final roll. That's fine. These things happen. That's all right. Let's just take our final four oh, final D20. I don't really have pickups to roll here. Maybe if there's a greed fight in the secret room, I can get an extra roll. No. But, <laughs> but very close to getting a lot of pickups. 
There genuinely is something we can do here. If we use the cracked key and we get lucky enough to find not even the ultra secret room, just a room with enemies, there you go. Then in theory, we actually do get to get a reroll here. So just give me the thunder thighs, because why not? We'll defeat blue baby, get our unlock, and then we're gonna D20 the secret room with a bunch of coins. Maybe get some chests, reroll it, and get an R key for no reason, but it will be epic. <laughs> Let's see, dude. Let's see. Sometimes the cosmic Isaac gods are just out there watching over you. And no matter what happens on the run, it's guaranteed to be rigged no matter what. And on those days, you just got to be like, dude, thank you, Edmund. I love you. Boom. One chest. Okay. Well, it's proptosis. Nine times out of ten, I would have taken this. Whatever. One final reroll. Three starting room items versus one secret room item. Wow, that kind of stinks. Oh well. <laughs> we got the fungi transformation, which is sick. I'll take all of these for posterity, and then we'll be on our way. That is Tainted Azazel done. Basically, almost every single Tainted is done. We are really close to Dead God now. It's only a matter of time before we hit that infinity percent. GG's.